We are going to make some propellers out of cardboard, some fan blades, think about. I've started one to show you what we're after. Now we can try any shapes we want, but it's sometimes nice just to start with the rectangle, see what's going on. So the directions talk about a three by six centimeter rectangle. So you need to get your ruler, get your cardboard, or whatever you want to use to get started. And I am going to measure my six centimeters. That's why you put paper down. I would have just marked up my table. And then I'm going to cut six centimeters. Now, the smarter thing would have been to measure six centimeters here, measure six centimeters up here, draw a line, and cut on the line. I'll do that for this one. Sometimes I take shortcuts. So they say three by six. So we're going three. Where am I at? I'm here. So now I've got two lines and any two lines, any two points, really. I've got two points. Make a line. So there's my three by six. And now I would want to make two more of those. Luckily, I've already done that. So I've got three of these. And I've got some craft sticks. The reason you have ten craft sticks is so you can make different propellers, different materials, different sizes, different shapes. We want to attach our, our blades to the craft stick. Now, you could just use tape. Or, like I did with this one, I started it with hot glue to get it in place. Be very, very careful with hot glue. Don't burn yourself. I'll just go with tape on these. Now, the hot glue I'm not going to just leave as hot glue. I, I was going to tape it. Or you could try it with hot glue again. This is often just an experiment. So, I was going to do this. And yeah, my tape's too long, which is fine, because I can just cut that. I can trim that up very easily. All right? Easy to trim that up. Again, if you just want to do just tape, go ahead. Um, I would, though, just get a little piece on there to kind of hold it for you a little bit and my little piece was even a little too little and then now if you don't like masking tape and you'd rather use duct tape do that right. again this is about trying different materials too I did, I've made some out of a different material. I took the, another pop bottle and I cut the round, the top part of the pop bottle uh, roughly into thirds to try, you know, this curved propeller. But let's stick with this. Uh, let's stick with this. Again, hot glue is hot, so be careful. Make sure that sits upright somewhere. And yes, I want to put the stick all the way to the end of my uh, blade so it's all attached. I don't want to just have a stick halfway up. I want lots of support on this because it's going to be spinning with the motor. And now I will tape it. I, mean, I could try it with it with just glue. All an experiment. It's not like I couldn't tape it later if it didn't work. I actually have a trash can handy. You're going to have little scraps of things. All right. So there are my three propeller blades. They need to go in this. 
And if you really look at this closely, they don't go in perpendicular, like 90 degrees. They go in at an angle. So you're going to have to find the angles. Okay. I would recommend getting this hub on a little bit screwing it down just a little bit again back to uh, you know so there's a reason for screwdrivers get it a little bit a little bit snug but not so much that you can't get anything in it needs to be a little little tighter oh, it needs to be a lot tighter because I wasn't even up to it yet and make sure you're blades are kind of all going the same direction. That one feels really loose. Okay. And here. There we go. And then you tighten it. Again, this is a time if you can't hold this strong enough, you can use the pliers to hold the back. And we just push it onto our motor. Pop. All right, now we want to attach the motor down here. There's a reason they told us to make these a certain length. It's because we're going to put the motor, the, the batteries down there. I'm sorry, the batteries. That's what the snatch, these are for. Now these only go, work one direction. If you don't hear a zipping sound, then they are not in the right direction. That was a good sound. I want you up top. But that's why you have more. If, if it doesn't, if you don't hear the sound, it's not going to hold, and you just got to come back and do it the other direction. Alright, come on. Oops, I didn't get it in. Okay, there we go. zip all right now you can leave these here if you want that's fine if you don't like them cut them down another reason to have something on the table is because you can drop tools on it cut them down now again we got to attach the wires to the motor you're going to want to put a maybe a little hook in them so that they stay better you might even get some if you have electrician's tape that's a, usually a black kind of tape that's really stretchy you don't just want to use masking tape or scotch tape those if that's, that's just wrong and ta-da exoskeleton and the propellers and it wiggles and wobbles a whole bunch. So the next thing is going to be putting some floaty part on it. You know, building a boat actually that um, will float and can actually carry something too. That's coming up.